Hey guys, it's Katie here with Life of Mundane and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to give you guys a peek into and a first impressions of the Apologia Preschool Science. I will say right now up front, I recommend this science for preschool and kindergarten. So if you have either one of those ages, be sure to keep watching. Let's get started. Hi, my name is Katie and welcome to Life of the Mundane. I am a second generation homeschool mom of six beautiful kiddos and on this channel we talk all things resources. I love to share with you resources that are going to help you in your homeschooling and help encourage you in your biblical parenting and how you can utilize those to their fullest potential so that you can make the most of the little moments. We have now been using this curriculum for just about a month or so. I don't usually come to you guys with reviews this early on in a curriculum because a lot of things can change. There can be the kind of glam and glitter of it all. However, we have been using Apologia products for years now. I actually grew up using them myself as a student and now use them with my kids. And when this curriculum came out, I could not wait to get my hands on it. But because it is brand new, so many of you guys want to see what's inside. You guys want to know how's it laid out? How does it work? So I'm going to show you all of that today. And then I'm going to have a separate video that is my full review. Spoiler alert, I'm loving it. But I'm going to have the full review coming out later, but this one's just going to be a look inside and how it is set up, how it's organized. So let's go. So like I said before, this definitely can be used for both preschool and for kindergartner. I'm using it for both of my kiddos and there's definitely plenty here. There's only seven chapters in this book, but it is definitely enough to last you all year long. You have the introduction and supply list. You have God's creation is lesson one. Our home planet Earth is lesson two. Our solar system, lesson three. God's garden, lesson four. All God's creatures, lesson five. Created in God's image, lesson six. And God's toolbox, lesson seven. Then in the back is the ever important parent's guide. We'll get to that here more in just a second. The first few pages are just an introduction into how this program works and talking you through the project. There is one continuous project that you're doing all year long if you so choose, as well as individual experiments and activities. And here you'll find the supply list for all of that. Most of it honestly is stuff that you will find around your home, but it is divided into lessons as to what is needed in case you like to prepare in advance. I love the illustrations. That's probably one of my favorite parts about the program so far is the amazing pictures. But essentially the way that this program works is it is just a book. It is a story. It is something that you can sit down and read with your kids for however long you choose. They have different sections here that you'll notice that kind of section it off by topic. So here you're exploring life, you're sorting information, you've got that, again, that project at the end of every chapter, all seven chapters, there's something you're going to be adding to your project board. Um, but you have these different topics and sometimes even subtopics as well. So oftentimes I will read till I get to the end of a topic till I get another blue text. There is not a suggested schedule in here and that is on purpose because they want you to just go at your child's pace, especially at this age. We're not all about getting through the curriculum as fast as possible. We really just want to present the information in an interesting way to them and kind of engage at their level. You'll notice throughout the book that there will be these little activity markers. That is going to be cueing you that there is a hands-on activity that you can do if you so choose. But unlike the older Apologia books, it is not actually infused directly into the text. It is in the back of the book in the teacher section, which we'll look at here in just a second. They have highlighted different words in green that kind of act as vocabulary words that you can go over with your kids. Obviously, again, just at a basic level. I am loving the fact that this is lining up with our earth science that we are learning as a group. So that is really fun as well. I am having my kids continue to sit in with the older kids on our other curriculum, but they're enjoying having something that's targeted directly to them in language that they can understand but don't misunderstand just the fact that it's for preschool or for kindergarten does not mean that it's not still covering a lot of really important science topics. So after you get to the end of lesson seven, you will come into the parent's guide. The reason they did it this way is because they wanted you to be able to just read and go at your child's pace and not to feel bound by any of the activities, but I do like the fact that they are there. There'll be kind of a summary what the lesson will be about and then some activities that can go along with this. There is actually also an additional website listed here in the book that you can go to to find additional resources, videos, articles, activities if you want to go further in your studies. Here is just an example of one of the activities and we were talking about things that are living versus non-living. 
the lesson went into good detail about that in a kid appropriate way and then you go on an activity all throughout your home finding living and non-living things so it's a mixture of hands-on activities as well as fun worksheets so here if you wanted to you could have a child find and you could write down what they found that was living or non-living we just did it as like a scavenger hunt they also had a really fun experiment experiment that they did where they planted both rocks and beans to see which one would grow and that helped them to decide which one was living and non-living as well They've got hands-on experiments as well as paper experiments that you can do, but then they also have the project. Like I mentioned before, you'll add to this project at the end of every lesson. Here is what our project board looks like. The idea here is that this is going to open up and show a whole slew of different things that the kids have learned about. Because we're only on lesson one, we haven't added anything to the inside, but I love the idea it'll be something they can add to all year long to kind of show their progress and help them review the topics they've learned. A few other activities that you can see here is they've got making your own rock that you're going to do. They've got pattern work, so they're going to work on finishing the pattern. Lots of skills that are very appropriate for that kindergarten preschool age. Apologia has done a great job with this curriculum and the fact that it is so open and go. It very much incorporates that aspect of learning through reading and through play, which is always something we want to do here at this age. And while science curriculum is not something that is required, I know that for myself, especially someone who's not naturally a big nature person, having kind of a guide to lead my kids through is helpful. And like I said, if you have older kids that are in the science curriculums from Apologia, there's a lot of overlap here. And so get your kids excited about those things because they understand it even further when they hear it in the older lessons. They're like, oh, we read about that. We read about how there's land under the water. It's really, really neat to see them get excited about those things. I also love the fact that the topics are so wide. Like I said, there's a lot of working on creation, on animals. There's working on five senses and parts of the body. So you could definitely open it up and just read it from beginning to end, but you could also use it if you want to just kind of reference it as you're talking about different things in your school day. You could say, oh, we're learning about the five senses. Let's pull out the Apology Exploring Science book and read a little bit more about that. I'm really excited to share more with you guys in my full review, but I hope that you've enjoyed this little look inside this new curriculum. And if you want to check it out, I have left the link down below where you guys can get access to that. It is very affordable and something I cannot recommend enough. I hope you found that helpful. Be sure to go check out my videos here on more Apologia products, both their Bible curriculum as well as their science curriculum. I've done several reviews for you guys and can't wait to share more in the future. So be sure to subscribe and we'll talk to you later. Bye.